Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I hope you are doing fantastic. And today we're getting into another battle box. But before we get into it, make sure you are subscribed to the channel and ring the notification bell while you're down there so you do get notified when I upload new content. I'd really greatly appreciate you. That's right, do that. Appreciate you. Battle box, adventure delivered. You ready? Let's do it. All right, so we are back with BattleBox, and as always, if you are interested in this particular subscription service, I will have a link to them in the description box of this video. They got a lot of boxes for you to choose from. Let's see, they got a basic, an advanced, a pro, and a pro plus, going from least to most expensive. And the least one is what, 35 plus shipping and handling, somewhere up in there, pro plus is what this box is. It'll run you about 170 with a little bit of shipping and handling. So let's see what Battle Box has thrown into the mix. Oh man, I see something from Holtzmas. Oh, I love them. All right, let me get my glasses, hold up. Hold up, wait a minute. Man, a very sepia looking picture. What is, what is that? Okay, I'm not going to dwell. I'm not going to dwell. I'll let you guys check it out. There you go. There's the picture. That background. Not the background, but the uh, foreground there. What is that? You know, in relation to the, to the guy that's in the picture. What is that? Interesting landscape. Cool. All right. Well, anyway, this is Mission Brief number 109. What up, Battle Box fam? Can you believe it is already March? Time flies when you're having fun, and this box is sure to bring the fun scale up several notches. This month, we have certainly provided a number of products to get you excited and prepare for the outdoors. Of course, an EDC item or two as well. So let's not waste any more time. Turn the page, which we're not going to do. So very straight to the point, uh, Mission Brief 109. We're ready to get the party started. Woo, woo, look at this. Look at this. Look, 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 look at all these all these nice boxes in here. Man, I love it. What we got? We got something called Wee Knife. What is this? Let's see what this is. And of course, where 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 is it from? <clears throat> where is this made? Any guess? Any guess? I give you a guess. I give you one guess. It's made. It's made in China. China. It's made in China. Box will open. Open says me. Open. Open. Oh, it's got some stickers. Got two stickers. Okay. All right. So we got a little blue knife, which is cool. Two blue knives, which is cool because blue is one of my favorite colors. So there we go. So we got that, that, and we got this one. So they gave us two stickers. That's cool. I like that. You guys know I got a, I got a pretty big sticker pile going on back here. And this is probably my most favorite sticker to date right there. Check that out. I love that sticker, man. That sticker's just so cool. Love it. I love it, love it, love it. Okay. So this is a Wii Knife. I'm not kidding. It actually says Wii Knife. Wii Knife. There you go. Okay. Lava lamp's going. It's going strong. We got, we got some groovy bubbles going. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not, uh... Not task oriented at all, huh? Oh wow, man! This 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 right here looks like it might be something really cool. Okay, so in the in the box here, we've got a little uh, like a little pamphlet here that's got some other product. But the first product that's on the pamphlet really looks really neat, man. It's like really cool looking. And they give you a little microfiber little microfiber cleaning job there with their logo on it which is cool and then we got the little one of these little padded cases yeah and for the knife and it's got two compartments in it so you can stick another knife in here and it does have you know their branding their website we don't care about none of that we care about the knife well check this thing out look at that with the with the old like wood grain looking scales check that out that is really cool looking man that's really pretty got a reversible clip that is a pretty knife man that is pretty 
I love these these little thumb stud deployers. You just flip them out like that. Boy, look at that. I made myself look almost semi-professional right there. Yeah, because I can flip a knife out, you know. Ooh. Got a liner lock. Man, this is a very, very nice, clean knife. Man, that that is that is awesome. Check that out, man. This is this is a I don't know why. I don't know why I'm getting so excited for such a such a plain knife. I don't know. Maybe I'm just a I'm a very simple kind of person. Maybe I just you know simple is best. That's 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 me. Simple is best. You don't you don't need to be extravagant. But yeah, we got some we got some texturing right here where your thumb's gonna go right you know right kind of behind the the thumb studs there. You got a little pad that's just enough. And when you get your when you get into your grip, you know you're gonna feel the texturing that's on the lock release right here. I have a fear or a sneaking suspicion, you know, guys with them big hands, you might find this a little bit lacking. I could be wrong. You might like it, but in my hand, it's good. Like this, this, man, this is super nice. Nice action. Just needs a little bit of, a little bit of love. Very smooth. You can't really, you know, you can't really go by an action straight out of the package because it's not going to have oil on it but that's the knife almost almost completely folded up and it it snaps out from that position and let's see when it folds up it does have does have nice tension yeah it's got it's got very nice retention until you get over that break and then it comes out man this is a nice knife this is a really nice knife. Got a lashing uh, lashing hole on the back but the scales that have that that I don't know if this is actually Is this like really wood? Well, I'm gonna have to find out about this because that that thing is just pretty. I'm sorry for taking so long on this knife, but I, I like this. This this is nice. I can't wait to read read more about this particular knife. We'll we'll try to not mess everything up here. Get out of here. All right, so we'll put that over there. Okay. All right. Let's see. What is this? Hot snot. Fire lube in a tube. Hot snot, okay. Fast, clean, fire. What, 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 what is this? It weighs 3.75 ounces, whatever it is. What is this? Caution flammable. Okay, so they're calling it snot. It's not. It's not snot. Okay, so this is something that you squeeze under several pieces of wood. You light the hot snot and place additional wood on the top. The intense heat will ignite even damp wood. So this is just like, I'm assuming it's some kind of like petroleum based jelly type of situation going on. And it's funny because I don't see what it's made of. It doesn't say it on here, which is interesting. But then again, we're also not eating it. So, Oh, and it's got a puncture cap. I don't want to puncture it. I was gonna puncture it, give it the smell test, let you guys. I was gonna puncture it and let you guys smell it, see if you can see what it is. Well, we'll have to try this stuff out. And I know if you've been with me for a while, you know when I open a lot of these products, I say we're gonna we gotta try this stuff out. And and I never do videos. And you guys ask me to do videos. The videos are gonna be coming. I'm gonna tell you why. If you're watching this video, I hope you you're subscribed to the channel and I hope you hang out with me going in the future because my wife, who is, uh, well, to get very personal, my wife has been going through a bout with cancer and we're hopefully coming down the finish line. And the reason why that's important and how that ties into all these products that I get from all these subscription boxes, because I've decided that once we're through her treatment, we're going to buy an RV and we're actually going to start going out and doing some exploring with uh, our dogs and our kids and we're going to be trying out a lot of these products so that's kind of where that's going to come from so i really hope you guys hang out with me you know and, and all that kind of good stuff man it's going to be a lot of fun it's going to be a lot of fun okay i put my glasses up too soon this is a pack of cards that says it's animal track id man that is cool it, this is like a pack of playing cards it is a, like a pack of playing cards. If it's got animal tracks on it, man, that's really neat. File that away. Check that out. 
So does it have pictures, depictions on the other side? No. All that. Okay. Well, that's, that's still fine. Okay. So what we got here are some playing cards that really can't be used for playing cards because they're informational cards. Just they fool you to make them look like it's a pack of playing cards. But the cards, it looks like there's a couple of them that are that are you know general information about what is tracking and awareness. So you got a card that has that that you know explains what is tracking, and then we have one for pausing and stopping. Okay, but it looks like they got one here that describes gates of tracks. So that's kind of cool if you don't know about that kind of stuff. Uh, what is this? Rob, brown bear. Oh, Rob is uh, raccoons, possums, and and uh, black or brown bears. Okay, so here's 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 the, the man. This these are really neat. Check that out. Hopefully that will focus. And I say that, and they usually do. If I leave them there for a second, the card has the information on one side. Then on the opposing side, you have A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and H. And they have let's see, they have A. B, C, they have all this stuff on the opposing side, but then they have like the, the what the tracks are going to look like on the other side. Okay, so we got that. Then we have one just for a brown bear, a black bear, a possum, a raccoon. We got another kind of informational card on sh uh, stride, straddle, and pitch. That's cool. Man, boy, you can learn, boy, you can learn everything you ever wanted to know about 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 tracks man and doing some snooping gray squirrel muskrats beavers porcupines rodents man A house mouse norway rat chipmunk walking and stalking wow check this out they even tell you they even tell you how to walk like believe it or not that is a thing when you're in the woods and you're trying to maintain any level of, of noise discipline you know knowing how to step and in which part of, of your feet you want to, you know, put your pressure on and stuff. It, it does make a difference. And it even breaks it down barefoot and with shoes. That is really neat, man. This is a really... I've never seen something like this. This is really cool. Rabbits. Then, let's see. It says... Where to find tracks. Where and how to find tracks. Transition area. Tracking stick. Man, it even shows you how to make a tracking stick. Dude, that is really cool. Long tail, weasel, mink, river otter, badger, striped skunk, wolverine, weasel. Increasing your awareness. Okay. Feral cat, bobcat, lynx, mountain lion, regular felines, uh, cottontail, black tail, jackrabbit, white tail, jackrabbit, snowshoe hare. You get the idea. I'm not going to go through all of them, but man, that, that's a really... That's really cool. That is very interesting. Now I got I got me a pack, man. I can I can be pro out in the woods, which is funny, you know, because you're out in the woods, you know, and you're gonna be huddled over, you're gonna be huddled over a set of of tracks that you that you find like it, you know, depressed in the in the sand or in the mud or you know in, in where you can see them, and you're gonna be huddled down, and you're gonna have all your cards, you know, laid out. You you're gonna be trying to, well, what is this? What is this? You, that, that would be funny, you know, for somebody to come up and see you doing that. People be like, man, what is this guy doing? All right, what we got here? Okay, we got 12 individually packaged wipes. Now, these are from Wildland. These are poison oak and ivy removal wipes. So these have lavender and grapefruit in them, which, you know, I'm assuming... I don't, I, I don't just try to mess with it. I don't really go out into the wilderness with shorts on. That, that's just how I do. And I generally wear, you know, I, I wear, you know, longer. What am I trying to say? Like the, the wicking shirts, I guess. Yeah, the, the, the moisture wicking shirts. I generally wear long sleeves even when it's hot out because bugs are so bad down here. Especially like, you know, little gnat insects, biting insects. So generally, if I'm out in the woods, you know, I'm, I'm fully clothed from head to toe anyway. So, but yeah. So the, these are wipes that would be awesome to keep because they're individually wrapped in these little, little packages here. But it says that, you know, you, you thoroughly wipe your skin as soon as possible after exposure to poison oak or, or poison ivy. And this, this, this will help you out. Very neat. You know... The one thing I will say about getting these subscription boxes is finding stuff like this. 
you know, when you pack a kit, depending on depending on where you live, do you, do you, you know, you don't think really about stuff like that. You know, that those are handy little wipes to have, and they don't take up a lot of room because you don't need to take all 12 of them. You know, you just take like maybe three or four, and they don't take up a lot of room. And, you know, very, very handy to to have in your in your kit. So, yeah. It's definitely one of the things that, you know, it's not high on my priority list, you know, when I'm, you know, thinking about, okay, what do I need in my pack? You know, well, I need my water filtration, you know, I need my my mess kit, you know, my, my spork, you know, and you're going through like your, your fire stuff and, and never is, hey man, I got these poison oak and ivy removal wipes, you know, but they're, they're really handy. They would come in handy. Okay, we got some extreme utility rope. That is 70 feet long, and this is from Rapid Rope. And this type of situation here that has the rope in the canister, and the canister on the, the lid has the little cutter kind of built into it, the cord cutter. I have one of these, and I thought I had it sitting right down here because I had just opened a box of a lot of my pack items and I was looking through there and, and I have one of these already but it's not this type of rope it's it's smaller rope but this is kind of bigger because this thing here it says has an ultimate tensile strength of 1100 pounds so this is not your little paracord this is some actual like rope rope okay same premise though like I said you know you got the cutter on the can can keeps the rope nice and you know packed up and everything so yeah Okay, we got two items. Okay, and that's it. Two more items. Okay, this is the Kachula Adventure Blanket. Eco-minded goods. Olive Topo Kachula. Okay. What what what's what's the deal with the Kachula blanket? What what is that? Let's see. It says water and spill resistant converts to an emergency poncho. Uh, connectable snaps to join multiple blankets, antimicrobial, stuffs into a pillow, zippered storage pocket. Okay, all right. Okay. Okay. Ooh, it feels very rough. It's very rough. Use your Kachula anywhere. Camping, hiking, beaches, cabins, boating, picnics, hunting, festivals, cookouts, and more. Well, they give you a big old list of stuff, though. So, how big is this thing, though? Does it tell me? It should say how big it is. And here's, here's, it's called an adventure blanket. So this is, this is made for adventuring. Okay, give me how big it is. Do I have to unfold it? I don't want to unfold it right here. I guess I'm, got, all right, I got to unfold it. Okay, oh, check that out. Oh, it does have, it's got snaps. Oh, it's black on one side. What is the zipper for? Wait, what, it's got a pocket built in? It says it's an adventure blanket. Wow, that's, that's, that's big. Ooh, that's big. But did it say you could use it as a poncho? Does this does this fold out or is this all? No. Okay. Yeah, you'd have to wrap it around yourself and use it kind of like a cloak, I, I would assume. But is this is this a pocket? Is this a pocket? Or is there is there something super secret in here? Oh, there we go. There's the head. Okay. So there we go. So here's, 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 yeah, you're going to wear it like a cloak. So this is the head piece that conveniently enough has its own little zipper compartment. So that's actually really nice. So when you're not needing that particular piece of this, of this blanket, you can just kind of stow it back in there and zip it back up. And there you go. Very cool. And it's very big. Like, I hate doing this to y'all, but yeah, this is a pretty big blanket, man. That's awesome. That is awesome. And it says, it didn't say it was waterproof. Where's, did I throw the thing down there? Oh, man. Let me see. Wasn't there a little tag hanging off this thing somewhere? Yeah. Does it say it's, is it water resistant? Come on. Okay, this has been a product that, like, they don't, sell me all the flim flam like i'm always looking for that far fig nougan okay water and spill resistant converts to a mercy poncho okay well that's what i just read okay stuffs into a pillow okay so so i can also unzip that and there was another piece in there that 
Okay, what is this? MTM. Okay, this is another zipper. So there's another piece. Oh, there's a zipper here. Wait, that's the that's the one in the middle. Okay, there's a zipper right here on the end. So I'm assuming I can take this and I can stuff it. I can stuff the bag into itself into this, and I can turn. That's what I'm I'm supposed to use it for as a pillow. Okay, this is a this is a very versatile adventure blanket. You can have many adventures with this blanket. Well, I like it, dude. That is awesome. I like this thing. That's really cool. Okay. Okay, and the last thing we got here is from Holtzman's. And this is going to be some kind of really rad blade, or at least it's going to be a lame blade in a really rad box. Because these, these guys, you know, they do the cool, like, red inserts with their black boxes. And I hope this is not going to turn me into a liar. i tell you what, I'll let you guys look at it first. But I'm going to peek because I'm going to see it in the wait what, what what is this what is this what is this what what where's the knife oh there's the knife oh and it's all blow oh, it's all black of course of course so this is a neck knife this is going to be a neck knife yeah it's a big neck knife but it could definitely be a neck knife oh man oh classic holzman man d2 steel looks really good oh it's even got a it's even got a it's even got a sharpening stone oh that's coarse though oh that's really coarse okay got a nice snap in okay you could wear it it's big like like yo that's big bro that that's bro that's big bro bro that that's big but they also give you a chain wait 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 we got a little we got a little striking, a little fire rod that goes in here and in, into the sheath. Okay, very cool. And then we have a belt attachment that does it match? Which holes is it meant to match up with? Or okay, then we got this. We got a clip, a free bonus gift, but it's a clip, and we need a clip. Okay, so I would probably use the clip and just let the clip straddle. I think I would do that. They give you a, a clip here, and you can just let the clip straddle these holes, and then you could just clip it, you know, on your belt. Or you could you could do this. You could do this. Hmm. I guess they, they mean for you to only use two, two of the holes. Because we got two holes there. But the problem is the, the texturing the texturing of the sheath is going to pose a problem when you're trying to mount this. Depending on how they want you to mount it, what they expect. Because you can't you can't use those holes unless you're gonna do it. That's that's really off angle though. But would it would it match up to those holes? It looks like it might not. Okay. Anyway, I would have to I would have to take all this crap apart, sit here and play with it. But let's look at the knife because the knife's really cool. Knife knife is really good. Has really good retention on our sheath there, our kydex or some kind of molded sheath. Very pretty knife though. Very pretty. Kind of a tanto. Yeah, kind of like a tanto ish. Well, it's yeah, yeah. But check it out, man. It's got them cool, them, them cool, uh, like lime green runners that snug up to the to the uh, blade there. Very cool. Has a really, really nice chul. And again, it does have that little bit of a taper down so that when you put it in your hand, it just fits. It fits in there really, really well. Got some very aggressive, aggressive, uh, very aggressive texturing right there. Some chimping. Very aggressive chimpering. Chimping. Chimping there. Very, very aggressive. Like alligator teeth. But your your thumb falls naturally on it. And boy, that's gonna tear your finger up. That's gonna I mean if you did something really hard, your thumb there, it would it would it would tear your it would tear your thumb up. That's very, very aggressive. That's very, very aggressive. But it's still, I mean, I still like it. It doesn't take away from the knife at all. 
And this Holtzman stuff, I really love their their knives because you see, they got a kind of a theme, not really a theme, I guess, but how they make them. Because this this is another one of their knives. Very very nice knife, and you can see this one has orange two orange stripes, and this has the lime green stripes. So yeah, this is 1095 high carbon. This is D2 steel. But still, you know, like I said, I really like these knives. They're very, very nice. Seem to be very, very good quality. I've watched a lot of guys on the uh, tube here review some of their knives, and they seem to really like them. You know, I certainly don't have a problem with them. I think they're really nice. And like I said, we do have a way of sharpening here. But boy, that's really aggressive, though. That is super, super aggressive. Let, let's see. Let's go to the book because, you know, our, our boy, what's it, Kurt Curran from BattleBox? He writes a lot of stuff on here. We don't have prices, okay? But what we do have is we have this little QR code right there on the bottom of the page there. You scan that, it takes you to BattleBox's website where uh, uh, he has a store where you can buy some of these products individually. And of course, the prices are listed there. But in the book, man, we do not get prices. Okay, so if you got the basic box, you would have got, what is that, about 35 bucks? You would have got the uh, Wildland Poison Ivy Wipes. You would have got the Rope. And you would have got the Hot Snot. Yeah. It says Hot Snot's made in the USA. Give it a little squirt squirt. A little light light. The snot, the snot does you right, man. Okay, and the basic box continued. Oh, wait, this is... So we got four items in the basic box. Okay, and you would have got the uh, the animal tracking flashcards. That's awesome. That's that's a lot of good stuff, man. So this is what you would have got in the basic box. You would have got the rope. You would have got this. You would have got you some snot. And you would have got some, some poison ivy wipes. You would have got all four of these things in the basic box. That's not bad. Not for 35 bucks. Okay, and then if you would have stepped up to the advanced box for around 65 you would have got the Holtzman's neck knife. And they are calling this a neck knife. Let's see... The setup comes with everything you need. You, they, you know, of course, it's set up like this with the with the rope to use it as a neck knife. But let's see, Tonto neck knife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Setup comes with all you need. Uh, let's see, G10 scales, green liners, razor sharp D2 steel, Tonto blade, Kydex sheath, paracord, uh, ball chain, ferro rod, a steel and tech lock clip. Okay. It's funny they don't they don't mention this this big old piece of steel that's strapped to the sheath, or or do they? Am I just am I just not seeing it? I don't know. Anyway, okay, so that's that's the advanced box. Then you step up to the pro box. You would have added the blanket, which is I think is awesome. Okay, it measures fifty inch by seventy two inch, so it's it's a it's a decent sized blanket for real. But the big thing is that it's eco-friendly. That's kind of the, you know, the the whole, the whole catch with this thing. Other than it being a really good, seemingly really good blanket, it's 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 very environmentally friendly, or environmentally ethically sourced. I, I don't know whatever catch words people use. Eco-friendly, DWR finish. Uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Travel pillow, light sleeping bag, or even emergency poncho. You can you can buy multiple of them. Like I said, with these little snaps that are on here, and you can you know snap them together. So so yeah, that would you know make you a modular blanket system. Have you ever have such a need of such a thing? You know, there's that. Okay, so that would have been the pro box. The pro box. Then you step it to the pro plus box, and it adds this knife, the one I really really like. This knife. Really like this knife. Okay, so this knife, let's see what we got here. It is the We Knife Banter. B-A-N-T-E-R folder. Okay, the scale material is, uh, yeah, it's actually wood. It's a wood that I don't know how to pronounce. QB Bor Borsha? Kui Kui Borsha. Kui Borsha? Does that sound like some kind of wood? A cookie? I don't know. C U I B O U R T I A wood. That's the kind of wood it is. Has a liner lock. S thirty five V N. Wow. Okay, that's the okay. Overall length uh, open six point five two. 
Bladelink 2.9. This is a very, very awesome knife, man. It says the presentation slide pivot and the thumb studs are titanium. Nice. Man, this... Okay. 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 I will have to say, this is... Stone washed, flat grind, drop point. Man, this is this is this is an awesome knife right here. For real. For real, for real. I like that. Alright, guys. That's the Pro Plus box. You know, this was an awesome box for me. And that's the thing about these boxes. You know, everybody's gonna have a different outlook on their thoughts and opinions on the boxes because of the items, you know. Were they something that you needed? Were they something that you didn't care nothing about? But I'm going to tell you, as someone who is, you know, likes being outside in these environments, having the blankets awesome, two knives, some poison ivy wipes, some snot to light a fire, and some cordage, and the tracking cards. This is all good stuff. You know, I'm going to give this box, man, double thumbs up, yo, for real. So give me a thumbs up. On the video for the box because that this is a really good box i think battle box did a really good job with this particular you know pairing of of items i think everybody would have been pretty happy with this mission brief number 109 i think they knocked it out of the park with this one let me know in the comment section down below how you're doing i'm going to ramble for just a minute but if you you know this is all you want then i'm glad you're here please subscribe to the channel and yeah, have a good night and everything. And you know, yeah, see you in the next one. Peace. Peace. And I uh, boop your nose. All right, now, I'm gonna tell you, I like this box. This box is really cool. Pretty cool. I, I would, you know, the, the wipes are really neat. Like I said, it's one of those things you don't think about, right? You just don't think about it. And this knife, man, this knife right here is the Wee Knives thing is awesome. Checks all the boxes. Utility ropes, cool. Animal tracking cards, it's awesome. It's really, really cool. Okay, so that was Mission Beef 109, guys. You know, glad you're here. Glad you're hanging out with me for a minute, so I can I can talk and run my mouth. We do have a knife giveaway going on for the one knife that I give away that I can honestly say I really don't like, which is the the front flipper from what was it from uh, what was the name of that thing? I don't even remember now. I done forgot. My mind, my mind's not working. It happens when you get old. But yeah, so like I said earlier in the video, you know, we're going to be buying a, a RV and going camping and, and, you know, all that kind of good stuff and having a good time, getting my kids out outdoors, my dogs. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a lot of fun. So there's going to be some videos coming up probably in a month or so. Because, like I said, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna be buying anything until after my wife is good, until after she's, you know, done and she's on the recovery and and all that, and that's when we're gonna we're gonna go uh, purchase. So, uh, if you guys have any any thoughts or opinions, if you guys have uh, RVs, you know, uh, let me know in the comment section down below. You know, if there's stuff I need to stay away from or I've been, you know, I've been watching tons of, of YouTube videos on, on RV, you know, these people that live full time and, and all that kind of stuff. And my experience, you know, coming from, from RVs is a class B, a uh, little van, a little camper van. And so I'm used, you know, I have experience or exposure to the RV lifestyle and, you know, everything that comes along with it. But I'm thinking we're probably going to do a travel trailer. I'm not going to do like a fifth wheel or anything like that. I'm just going to do a travel trailer. Keep it simple. I was going to, I was looking at a Winnebago. Let's see, what was the number? I can't remember. But it was it was a bunkhouse model because, you know, I do have, I do have kids. And I'm either going to look at that one or a Forest River Alpha Wolf. I'm probably going to, I'm probably leaning toward getting the Alpha Wolf. So if, if you, uh, you know, you, ha you know anybody or maybe if you have a, that line from Forest River, the, the Alpha Wolf line, uh, you know, if you have any experience with it, you know, yeah, hit me up in the comment section. Let me know because I'd definitely like to, like to hear from you, you know, because that's probably something I'm going to be looking at purchasing and, you know, 
but I know, you know, the RVs, you know, they all have issues and problems and, and I can work on them. So that's, that's really not that big of an issue, but yeah. So yeah, other than that, man, I'm glad all you guys are here. A lot of you guys are really, you know, commenting in the giveaway video, which I really greatly appreciate. So yeah, sound off in the comment section of this video, you know, just let me know how you're doing or just whatever, whatever's on your mind. Cause I read all of them. That's right. On the toilet when I'm pooping, I read the comments. I'm just kidding. All right, guys. That's it. Hope all of you are doing well, man. I'm getting out of here. I'm going to work on another video. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.